it's Wanda from Melanda Craft and this is our quilt block channel and today I'm going to show you four different methods for making a half square triangle so let's get started okay for method one I need two pieces of material and they need to be squares so I have two 10 by 10 squares and you want a light and a dark to get the full effect now what you're going to do is you're going to take your ruler and you're just going to lay it point to point and slice it for both of them and that will give you two triangles and then what you do is you take one triangle of the light and lay it over one of the dark or vice versa, it doesn't really matter which way you do it and you sew it down the centre line with a quarter inch seam OK so I've sewn the seam down here as you can see I'm just going to press, now press don't iron and that's just to set the seam OK and then I'm going to turn it over because I want my seam to be on the dark side it's just that you don't want them showing through on the light side of light fabric and we're just going to press down here OK so there we are and we have our seam is pressed nicely to the dark side. Now I'm going to show you how to square these all up at the end but that's method one. So now for method two. I have my two pieces of fabric, I have a light and a dark and I'm just going to flip one over, so the dark one usually, I'll just pop that aside for a moment. So it's right side down now on my table. And I'm just going to take my ruler and run it from point to point Okay, making sure it's exactly there. I'm just going to draw a line down there. Now what I'm going to do, now this, you can either put the quarter inch line down along the line you've just drawn and draw another line because the line you've just drawn is going to become your cutting line and this one will be a sewing line OK, and you want to do the same on the other side so just measure a quarter of an inch from the very first line that you drew OK, I've run off a bit there but I'll fix that up OK, so it's going to be a quarter of an inch, I'm going to sew down here and I'm going to sew down on this side and then I'll cut between the two so I just need to put that on top of my other piece of fabric don't need to draw any lines on that because I'm going to sew from this side so just match them up nicely and then sew your lines OK so I've sewn my uh, lines I've sewn on either side of the line that we drew in the middle and then you just take your ruler and put it down that middle line and slice it with your rotary cutter I've already done that so there we go I'm going to now do the same thing as I did with the last one, just press those seams there and then just press them to the dark side. OK, so now we're at method three. So I've got my two pieces of material and I'm going to place one on top of the other and just line them up. And then I'm going to sew all the way around the edge with a quarter inch seam. I'm going to pivot at the corners until I get to the last corner. I just When I get to the end, I'll just run off. So I've got one here that I've already done. So here we go. I don't know if you can see it on that side. I might turn it over. OK, so I've done my quarter inch seam all the way around, pivoting at the corners. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ruler. I'm going to line it up point to point. OK, and I'm going to cut with my rotary cutter. Now I'm not going to move the material. I'm going to move my ruler and again I'm going to line it up point to point OK so now I will have four triangles four half square triangles OK so when I open them up and then we'll just press them the same as we did before we'll press to set the seam and then we'll push the seam to the dark side and we'll do that with all four of those
So here we are now at method four, and this one's going to give us eight tri a half square triangles. So again, I have my two pieces of fabric. I'm going to flip one, and what I'll do is I'll draw a line from point to point this way, and from point to point this way. Now I've got one here that I've done earlier, because what I've done is I've also put the quarter inch uh, seam line in there. Remember our middle uh, line is our cutting line, but you don't have to draw that line and you can use your machine for running it down the cutting line and that'll give you your quarter inch seam. So again, you'll get your two pieces of fabric and place one on top of the other. And then we're going to go and we'll sew down all those quarter inch lines. Okay, so here we go. This one's a little tricky. So what we've done is I've sewn down either side of my cutting line, so you can see that there, and I still have my cutting lines. Now we've, the first thing we're going to do is we're not going to cut those lines first. We're going to actually cut across the middle here. Now I'm not going to cut this on camera because I have to move around and I'll be in camera shot and you won't see anything and I don't have a revolving table. So I'll just tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to line this up and cut this line through the diamond then I'm going to go here and I'm going to cut across here and finally I will cut these lines. Okay, so the, what you need to do is take your ruler and you want to uh, measure it at the 5 inch mark. Well, I've got a 10 inch square so I'm measuring it at the 5 inch mark and as you can see that line up, lines up across my diamond so that will be my first cut and I'll swivel my ruler around again lining up along the bottom and up the side and cutting on the five inch mark down the center and without moving anything I will cut down here and finally I will cut this line here so I'll go and do that and then I'll come back and show you what happens so now I have eight half square triangles so here they are And again, what I'm going to do is just press down here to set the seam and then open each one and press the seam to the dark side. So just the same as before. So now an important thing is to know how to square up your blocks. So if you want to know how to square up your block, then click the link in the description below. Now if you've enjoyed this tutorial, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.